Uh, it's a Mitsubishi FG30K forklift with a Mitsubishi engine, either a 4G63 or 4G64, I believe the 63. And she placed a timing belt. Engine had got low on oil, cam seized, and snapped it, but it was getting old. As far as timing on this one, it forklift. It's a little different than what I could find online. Right here is a tab. I did not have anything on the gear other than a dot from somebody that had previously worked on it and a spot on the gear right here. As you can't see, but it's got a little bit of white paint. The sounds hot. Down there, you see the notch on that back plate. It needs to line up over here on the housing. There's a notch right there. There's a notch on the front plate up here. And it lines up to a little stud up there. I don't know if you can see it, but you can feel it. It's a triangle shaped stud. Uh, when you do it, you gotta crank around and tighten that. And this is by hand. I replaced that pulley and the spring as well. You tighten this 9 16 or 14 first and then tighten this 10 millimeter nut that holds the spring. Now make sure it's got adequate tension. You'll have to, you see, you have to get it around and twist that to tighten it up on the back side and then put it on there. Uh, water pump pulley comes off with four 10 millimeter bolts right there. Um, this one has a drive shaft type of shift that goes over and drives the fan and that was four 12 millimeter bolts and then four 12 millimeter bolts to hold the balancer on this is the bottom cover and you got bolts here 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 and here and they're all 10 millimeter and then The upper cover, you just got the three. Alright. Here, here, and here. All 10 millimeter. Um, to release your fan down here at the back side of this bolt is a 12 millimeter you hit with a wrench. 13 to tighten it right here. This one's stripped. And, uh, yeah, it's been a hell of a project. So, hopefully that'll help someone out if anybody has questions. Comment, please.